It's a big night of high school sports in our community. The News 8 Highlight Zone starts now. Good evening, I'm Greg Wawrinick. Just a couple weeks back, we had a five-way tie for first place. Now we're down to having a singular MVC champion. At tonight's Big West Salem at Onalaska game, let's go live to News 8's Charlie Clifford. Greg, an absolutely incredible MVC season ends here tonight with two teams. West Salem, they haven't allowed a point in almost a month. And on Alaska, they can score 40 at will. Let's get right to the highlights. On Alaska and Tyler Turriff leading the purple out of the gate. Ryan Burns stands in their way. First quarter, first West Salem drive. Brennan Holt down the left sideline. And there's a bolt of speed, 23 yards. 7-0 Panthers, it was quiet in here early. Two plays later, Brayton doing across the middle. Tyler Hughes is gone, 63 yards. And we got the shootout we expected. Doing throws for 277, but both defenses settle in. No scoring midway through the second. After Jalen Sample comes up with this grab, he's marked down at the one yard line. We're gonna go jumbo here. Noah skipped in 14-7. And after a West Salem punt, Dewin is going to look for Hughes once more. This time down the right sideline, 42 yards, breaking a tackle. These two and Jalen Zubich put in a great first half effort. West Salem holds at the goal line late, so it's still a two-score game. Let's go fourth quarter. Sample grabs a couple TD scores in the third, and the Hilltoppers in the trenches put their stamp on this win for on Alaska football. It's the future. Nathan Lubinsky, 63 yards. Zubich runs for 131. 42 to seven on Alaska. They're your MVC champions. And the Hilltoppers are hanging out late tonight. Head coach Tom Yashinsky. Tom, who would have thought this offense would only need two scores to lock up this championship? What about your defense tonight? Yeah, defense played best game they've played all year by far. I never would have thought you told me at the beginning of the day we'd won 42 to seven. Uh, I went to believe that. You know, I thought West Salem's darn good defense. They still are, um, and and the ball just didn't bounce their way tonight. But our kids played their butts off, and we're proud of them. And your quarterback did too. Let's bring Brayton Dewan in here, the 500-yard kid. Only 277 tonight, but a heck of a second quarter from then on out. What did you find with the West Salem defense that allowed you to throw four touchdown passes? We knew their D-line was strong, and the, the way they came out in the secondary, we expected it, and we just knew we had to run our stuff and get it done. And Tyler Hughes, only three catches, but he made them count. Tyler, a heck of a comeback from you. I know this time last year you were working on that ACL recovery. For you to have your biggest game, arguably, your career tonight, how much does that mean? Oh, it means a lot. This is a team that knocked me out last year. This is a game I got hurt against, so I knew I was going to be ready for this one, and it just means the world. We've been working for this conference championship since we got here as freshmen, and it's just huge. Tyler, Coach, Brayton, thank you. Best of luck in the playoffs. We're looking forward to what see what the Hilltoppers can do here come playoff time. Congratulations. Greg, that's going to do it. Hats off to everybody this year. Logan Holman, Sparta, West Salem, and your champs right here in on Alaska. That was fun. For now, it's back to you. Thanks a lot, Charlie Clifford, live in on Alaska. A few games in our area tonight that the winner clinches a playoff spot and the loser likely sees their season come to an end. One of them is 2-2 two two in the Cooley Luther, hosting 2-2 two two Westby. Second quarter, Westby's Ryan Danes punches it in from three yards out. Norsemen lead by 14 points. Third quarter, more Westby, more Danes this time from a yard away. Westby up 21-6. Fourth quarter, the Knights have a little fight in them. Sam Babinek to Dan Walsh. And he's determined to score on this play. Check out the moves. 66 yards he goes. Knights down by seven. Westby's offense keeping Luther at arm's length. Kyle Anderson on the keeper gets them. Within the five, they tack on a field goal to go up by 10 points. Luther now fourth down. They need two to stay alive. They can do better than that. Babinek to John Weirs. Touchdown, Luther back within three but that's as close as they'd get. Westby, a 24-21 winner as they clinch a spot in the postseason. Same scenario tonight for Austin. A win to get in, a loss, and their season is over. Down by one with under two to play. Austin gets a touchdown and a two-point conversion. They keep their season alive, winning 35-28. North Crawford hosts Riverdale. Winner of this one moves to 500, becoming playoff eligible and will likely be playing again next week. First quarter, Kenny Spencer takes the handoff, pounds his way into the end zone. Trojans on the board first. 
Second quarter, Spencer doing it again, this time going 68 yards up the sideline. Finishes off the run with a stiff arm into the end zone. North Crawford up 12-0, and North Crawford is a 27-0 winner. That 500 conference record should get them into the playoffs. New Lisbon at Brookwood. Winner clinches a playoff spot while loser still playoff eligible with a 500 record and still likely to get into the postseason. 15 seconds before the half, Matthew Hansen puts his head down, powers his way to the end zone on the QB Steak. Brookwood goes into the half up 14-6. Late third quarter now, still 14-6. Handoff to Zach Lowe, takes a series of hits, but manages to stay on his feet and breaks free. Down after a gain of 65. A few plays later, Rockets put their running back, Tony Mascaretti under center, and he powers his way in. New Lisbon scores 14 unanswered points to get a 20 to 14 win. Rockets solidify their spot in the postseason. And like I said, Brookwood should still be playoffs bound. Well, still lots to get to, including a city battle and a pair of stops featuring number one ranked teams in the state. The News 8 Highlight Zone will be right back. Welcome back to the News 8 Highlight Zone. Not everyone can be conference champ. The NBC still gonna send a highly respectable five teams to the playoffs with all five having the potential to make some noise into November. Holman is at Sparta tonight, both 4-2 in conference, entering the evening. Second half, Holman with a 14-0 lead. Seth Wilson busting up the middle. He bounces it outside, and there he goes right into your living room. 21-0 Holman with the lead. More Holman and more Wilson. Again up the middle and busting this one open. 318 yards, 37 rush attempts, and four scores tonight for Wilson. Sparta trying to mount a comeback. Ryan Wisniewski keeps this one himself. He dives for the pylon and is in for the touchdown. Makes it 28 to seven. That big night for Wilson. Carries Holman to a 35-14 win over Sparta. City battle taking place on the north side at Logan host Aquinas. The CJ Siegel show for the Rangers in the first. Fields the punt here, makes a few people miss and off to the races. He's gone six nothing Rangers. Then later in the quarter, Trey Davis to Siegel in stride. Wow, that's pretty. 61 yards to the house. Logan heads into the playoffs, a 50-6 winner. This is the season finale for both of these teams. Toma at Central. Second quarter, Red Raiders up a score. Connor Williams extends it with a touchdown run, 14-0. Later in the quarter, crazy play here. Greg Kohler gets to the five-yard line, but whoo, fumbles the football. Caden Gruber recovers it in the end zone. Then they get it done through the air. Johnny Davis to Jordan Davis. Beautiful catch and throw between the freshman twin brothers. Toma, GT, excuse me, Central ends up beating Toma tonight, 27 to 20. GET goes for the outright Cooley Championship tonight. They need a win at Viroqua. In the third quarter, GET dominating with a 47 to nothing lead by the time we get here. However, Derek Johnson breaks through the line untouched. He takes the GET handoff the other way for six. Viroqua gets their first score of the night. Backups played most of the second half. Viroqua having some fun. They hand it to the right guard, Michael Lampman, for 10 yards. We didn't see any of the Butch Haynes first half he put on. 19 attempts, 123 yards, three touchdowns. GET, they are perfect in Cooley play this year. They win 47 to 24. Arcadia wins 22 to 12 at Black River Falls. Defending state champion Bangor goes for a perfect regular season, wrapping up their schedule, hosting Nasida. First possession for Bangor, Drew Johnson on the quarterback keeper. He breaks free, and there he goes into the end zone for the touchdown. Bangor up 7-0. Next possession, Johnson dropping back to pass. He connects with Caleb Meenma for the touchdown, and it's 14-0. Cardinals defense also making plays early on. I think Alex Motts has made a defensive highlight now for three straight weeks. Strip and recovery here. However, that Bangor possession stalls. Didn't really matter. Bangor winning big, 51 to six. To another defending state champ. This time on the Minnesota side. Caledonia at home against Dover Yoda. Warriors with a first quarter. I don't think I've ever witnessed the likes of. The Owen King to Jordan Berg. Touchdown already makes it 23 nothing. Ben McCabe nearly unstoppable out of the backfield. Eight carries, four touchdowns. 131 yards for him, and that's just in the first 12 minutes. 44-0 the score after one quarter of play. Caledonia showing what domination looks like. A lot of starters only playing in the first quarter. They went 70-12. to 
Let's go back in Wisconsin. Second place, Dairyland Battle. CFC hosts Oliva Strum. Opening possession for Oliva Strum. Jed Lorenz takes the hand off, shakes a tackle, puts his hand in the dirt and breaks free. 57 yards, it's 8-0. Later in the first, Tristan Schmitnack floats it to Garrison Barham. He comes down with it. CFC with a 14-8 lead. Huge second quarter for the Cardinals. Quinn Olsen takes it on the sweep, breaks a tackle. It's a foot race from there. 65 yards. Card scored twice in the final three minutes of the half. And that leads them to a big 68-20 victory. And Melrose Mendoro finishes undefeated in Dairyland play with a 37-0 win. More football scores from tonight. Take us to our next break. To the News 8 Highlights on time for our play of the night. Oliva Strum quarterback Jed Lorenz, keeper on the option, spin move, keeps the balance, and he's gone. 57 yards for the touchdown. Oliva Strum, 68-20 to 20 winner. Once again, on Alaska, the big winner in the MVC. They claim their first conference championship since 2006. For Charlie Clifford, I'm Greg Wabernick. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again next week.